Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jumper News. It's Adam22, here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. As you've undoubtedly seen, Lil Uzi Vert had many people talking this week when he reportedly decided to spend $24 million on a pink diamond from Eliante and implanted it into the center of his forehead. Sauce Waka is convinced that he is undoubtedly Uzi's inspiration, while Uzi is crediting Lil B as the real inspiration behind his new look. Despite their claims, both Sauce Waka and Uzi were trending on social media and had many comparing their expensive purchases. While on the Clubhouse app, 21 Savage joined in on the conversation and called Sauce Waka's gem cubic Zarconia, which I think I made the same joke yesterday. Sauce Walker do the same thing though. Don't Sauce Walker got a diamond in his head too? Or is it in his Sauce face? Walker. I think Sauce Walker got Cuban Zarconia. Sauce Walker took to Instagram to clap back at 21 with a video threatening to expose him over the comments he made in the chat room. At 21 Savage, hating and pillow talking to them hoes. IG got you punk and hurt, huh? Fuck it, new classic dripping, grab your phone. However, Sauce Walker later confirmed that the video clip was an old one from before his diamond teardrop in question was embedded on his face. Shortly after Sauce issued his warning, the two rappers connected through Instagram DMs, squashing the dispute before things escalated or transpired. We all good, confirmed Sauce Walker with a screenshot of their conversation. In the caption, he wrote, my boy was almost burnt crepes on. According to the messages, 21 did not want any friction with the drip god, writing, I don't want no smoke, gang. I think when we talked about the pink diamond in Uzi's head yesterday. I thought that maybe we thought that we had talked about it for the last time. It appears that there's even more sauce to be discussed. Do you think that this is like causing enough controversy that I feel like it might have the same effect on the young generation that the colored hair did for a while? You know, like everybody had green hair for a while. Oh, everybody got red hair. I feel like this might cause a moment where there are like i know that 21 was joking about sauce having a mm -hmm. cubic zirconia but i feel like i'm gonna see some kids on melrose if i ever go back to melrose with some cubic zirconias in their forehead i think now we're getting closer and closer to people trying to be superheroes and i'm down for it mm, like a gem what, what was the superhero that had like a diamond in their head vision you know? vision mm -hmm. He actually have a show right now too on Disney Plus. Really? WandaVision, I love it. Honestly, I think that the next appropriate step for the people out there that want to basically turn their rap career into a superhero career, which I agree is probably a pretty good idea, just a costume. You know, like people waste so much money like buying different designer outfits all the time. I think what they really want is a costume. Like if, if 21 Savage has spent his entire career wearing like a red latex outfit with a big 21 on the front, don't you think that he would have got a little farther in his career. Like he's done great for himself, but I feel like if he really embodied a superhero or villain, then maybe that would be the next step for him. All I know is No Jumper needs to make me a superhero outfit now. That's what I'm saying. Spider Cuz cracked it off. Mm. I'm coming next. You might need to get in better shape though. I don't know if we can afford that much. Latex. I'm not about to put latex. <laughs> I don't want a latex suit. Well, Shit. That's the whole point. No, every superhero don't wear a latex suit. Well, I'm not paying if I can't see you in latex. I want to be baggy man. Baggy man. <laughs> he wears a baggy. Next story. A woman on TikTok is going viral rep to using Gorilla Glue as an alternative to lay her hair when she ran out of her go-to hairspray. Now her hair is perfectly stuck in place. Tessica Brown swapped out her gotta be glue blasting freezing spray with Gorilla spray adhesive. As she demonstrated in her video, the glue seemingly left her hair permanently slick back in a pony Detail. My hair has been like this for about a month now. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this Gorilla Glue Spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. She goes in to say that she washed her hair at least 15 times with no improvement whatsoever. She followed up with a second clip of herself attempting to wash the glue out of her hair, but nothing. Her slick down style doesn't budge despite all her scrubbing. Her first video has since racked up 4 million views on TikTok. Gorilla Glue's official TikTok account even commented on the video with some guidance on getting the glue removed. Use some rubbing alcohol, water in a spray bottle, a hair dryer, and a comb. But since you had it like that for a month, your hair could be damaged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've worked with go Gorilla Glue in the past. I've used Gorilla Glue to fix things. I can't imagine what would happen if you put it in your hair. And I can't believe that there's someone out there who actually did this in order to find out what it would do to your hair. Uh, thoughts? Fun, fun fact about the Gotta Be Spray, right? It's part of the reason why I got hair tattoos and, and started to cut my hair. 
I had hair I grew for almost two years, and I would spray that gotta be spray to keep my curls and shit intact. And it would get so messy in my hair. Like during the weeks, I would just pull the fucking hair till I had like different, like almost ball spots in certain areas. So I had to cut it so it could come back. And I just left it like this so far. So basically, you did exactly the same thing that this woman did. You just didn't make a TikTok out of it? Yeah, basically. Damn. It's hard times. What, what do you think this woman should do? Like, I kind of feel like she should just shave her whole head and just start over because her hair, like, even if. Like, if she's washing it and shit and nothing's happening, then what is supposed to happen if she just leaves it alone for the next couple weeks? It's not like it's going to really get out of there. It's like, this shit is really in your hair. It's not that, that hair, it's only going to go away once the hair grows long enough that you can just cut it out. Hey, man, her hair turned to a bagel pack. It's over. Shave the head. Did yes. she get it? She Is she up your alley? What'd you mean? Would you make sweet love to her? With Gorilla Glue. YouTubers, do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all again next week.